Okay, so I was just showing a property, the uh, call it last week, and I arrived, a beautiful property, and it was just messy. It just didn't look quite nice that the countertops weren't polished, the glass wasn't clean, and all I had with me to clean it were those um, like Lysol wipes, which make it wet, So then, but they dry really streaky, mm -hmm. they look terrible. And so I asked Rachel, who owns Hope Cleaning, uh, to come and give me sort of an idea on what should I take with me when I'm showing homes so I can do just the last minute emergency clean. So Rachel, thanks for joining me and maybe you can give us some tips on, you know, for realtors or property managers, what we can have in our cars so that when we come to a messy showing, what do we, mm -hmm. what do we want to have? Yeah, so we actually have something that's called the Realtors First Aid Kit that's kind of a toolkit for if you have emergency cleaning situation mm -hmm. that you had. So our goal with this is um, to make it compact so you can easily have it in your car, easily have it just right in your um, glove compartment, in your door, um, and that it would actually deal with things that would give your client or your potential client a really good first impression. That's what I want. I want my tenants to walk in and go, wow. Yeah. I don't want them to say, oh, it would look okay if it was clean. I don't want that extra thought. Mm -hmm. And that first impression is so crucial, as mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So these are just a few things, a few tools that um, help with that surface impression. So you've got your super standard Swiffer duster here. Okay, yeah. Um, so the reason why, say, a Lysol wipe wouldn't be ideal is because you're wiping, um, but it's leaving streaks and it's actually not picking up the dust. Okay, yeah, it just left a big, like, it looked worse. Yeah, it, it can it can look a lot worse. And so even though it might be disinfecting, mm -hmm. uh, which is good, it's not giving that clean, polished look. Mm -hmm. So a good duster will help just really collect the dust really quickly and effectively mm -hmm. and um, keep it captured so it's not going into the air and landing back down onto the surface. Right, okay. So get that. Now your second thing that's super crucial is a really good mirror cloth. Okay, what's so, the mirror cloth? So a mirror cloth is specially designed to leave your glass, your chrome, or your mirrors completely streak free. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the beauty of having a good mirror cloth is you don't actually need any sort of product to clean the glass or the so mirror. So no Windex or... No, all okay. you need is a little bit of water. Okay, so how so, does that work? So you wet the, say, a little corner of the cloth, mm -hmm. wet that yeah. with hot, hot water, okay. squeeze it out, yeah. and then you wipe the mirror, the windows, whatever it is, yeah. and then you can dry it with the other corner. Okay, and that won't leave any streaks? No streaks. Okay. So super fast. So bathrooms, um, entryways that have like that big mirror right in the entryway, mm -hmm. you want to be focusing on getting that streak free. Okay. So yeah. super fast. And then uh, thirdly, and arguably most importantly, okay. you want the space to smell fresh yes. as soon as they walk in yes right okay. yeah so that's going to be the thing that's going to hit their senses first so if you decide to mask the smell mm -hmm. so you you know stick a plug in into the outlet um or you just febreze the whole space or use axe body spray in the whole space yeah then you're you're First impression is, oh my goodness, they're trying to hide something. Okay, okay, okay. So this property, I kid you not, it smelled like they had gone through the property and said, oh, this doesn't smell good. And they had maybe taken out their cologne and sprayed two or three in every room. The smell was so, I'll say loud. It was like... You know, I by the time I left, I was like, "Oh, I don't feel good." Like it just I feel like overwhelming, <laughs> right? It was yes. greed. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't want that. No. So you want something that can actually eliminate the bad smell. Okay. So how do you do that? So we have this um, special spray. So it actually attacks the smell right at the cellular level, and eliminates the smell. Okay. And then, if say you're trying to evoke um, the feeling of wellness or you know like a resort feeling for example you have a property mm -hmm. that has beautiful views mm -hmm. and you might want to add a little bit of that feeling mm -hmm. then you can you can get one of our sprays that has like say a lavender oh and yeah it's just yeah. really the essence of, sort of yeah. Feeling, yeah so you can you can 
completely remove smells mm -hmm. and just have that mm -hmm. or in addition to that to enhance that experience you yeah. can you can get one with a little bit of a hint of a smell that's not okay but so we're talking you. like a hint of a, a smell. hint very very okay. subtle okay. kind of like say maybe a diffuser was in the space in the last 3 days okay but not assaulting your senses okay just kind of evoking that that positive feeling that's associated with smell yeah. and that's what you want your client to okay. have. To yeah. Them, yeah. okay. Um, so, you know, there you go. If I had these things at my last showing, I would have been a lot better off than I was using the Lysol wipes, which was a total disaster. Uh, so yeah, well, thank you, Rachel. That was as straightforward as it comes and yeah if you want to look up Rachel all her information is on the screen right now and you've been doing residential cleaning for how long now? Um, coming up on seven years. Seven years mm -hmm. okay so how many houses is that? It must be like a zillion. Oh yeah hundreds and hundreds of houses. Hundreds and hundreds of houses yeah. and now you also do a lot of commercial cleaning if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah so we we love really building relationships with our clients and mm -hmm. getting to know their unique needs mm -hmm. and so routine residential clients get to know their mm -hmm. unique needs and then commercial in the same way we get to tailor our services mm -hmm. to our unique clients we love that okay well there you go rachel from hope cleaning and um oh we'll talk to you later